Hello everyone, my name is Evan McNair and this is MLA formatting using Pages 09 in Mac OS X. The very first thing you want to do, obviously, is type your paper. Be sure that it's in single spacing when you first type it, it just makes it easier to see. And be sure that each paragraph, each individual paragraph, is indented using the tab key. Don't just hit the space bar a bunch of times. Okay, secondly, hit the inspector button just to bring up this, uh, the document inspector. It has all these very useful tabs that we're going to be using. Once the, once the document inspector is open, be sure that all of the margins are set to one inch. You can adjust them by typing in one or using these arrow buttons. Once you have the margin set properly, double check that the correct font is being used. Press Command A to select all the text in the document. Then select the font dropdown to select Times New Roman. Be sure it's set to regular and 12 point font. Then add the title information. Go to the top of the essay and hit enter, then press the up arrow key. For the essay title information, begin with your name. I'm going to use the random name Sally Frost. First name Sally, last name Frost. Hit enter one time. Just a note, if you find yourself stuck over here, kind of like this, it's no big deal. Just select the text and drag this little bar here back over to one inch. Beneath your name, put the professor's name. Press enter again. Type the class name. Hit enter once more and then type in the date. In this format, the day in a digit, the month spelled out completely, and then the four digit year. Once you've done that, hit enter again, and then press the center alignment button. This is the place to insert your essay's title. There you have it. We are almost through. Scroll down to the bottom of your essay and just click. The next thing you want to do is insert a page break. So press the insert menu button and press page break. Then center your alignment and type in works cited. Hit enter and then switch back to left alignment. The next thing you should do is insert your source information. Once you've inserted your source information, select it and select only the source information. Once you've done that, click this arrow here at the top ruler and drag it over a half an inch. Then drag the little tiny bar on top of the arrow over back to one. This allows readers to distinguish between sources. This is one source, this is the second source, the third source, and the fourth source. They are differentiated by this indentation. It's called a hanging indentation. It's basically just an inversion of the normal indentation. So now that you've done that, scroll back up to the top and just hover in the header area. You'll see this little box appear. Select the box and be sure that you are aligned to the right. Press the insert menu item and then go down to page number and just click page number. A page number will be inserted in the header. Use your cursor to click over to the left side of the number. Type in your last name and then hit the space bar one time. Take a moment to scroll over what you've done so far and make sure you haven't missed anything. Everything looks good. The next thing you want to do is press Command A once again to select all of the text in the essay and then go over to this line spacing area, 
click the drop down and switch to two. This is double spacing. So now your entire essay has been double spaced and is formatted correctly. And this is how it should look. Now you're ready to save or export your document. And that's it for this lesson on MLA formatting in Pages 09.